Well, recovering from breast cancer is an emotional and difficult process, especially for women also facing reconstruction. But now revolutionary technology developed right here in Silicon Valley is giving women control over that recovery and helping them better prepare for surgery. NBC Bay Area's Ian Cole with a story you'll see only on NBC Bay Area. Hi, Sam. How are you doing? Good. The week of Thanksgiving, Samantha Blanco knew something was wrong and went to the doctor. Well, when I went to have the mammogram, I already, I already knew that I had breast cancer. Uh, I just knew. She was right. Last week, she had a double mastectomy and is now recovering, but she's already looking forward to what's next, reconstructive surgery with breast implants. So she's using a new device developed by Air Expanders in Palo Alto called the Aeroform Tissue Expander System. I can have a more normal life after breast cancer and, and feel good about about myself and how I look. Before an implant is put in, the tissue around the breast has to be inflated. Patients typically have to get a series of painful saline injections. This expander works differently in half the time. Press the button over the breast. Used once or twice a day. It lights up. The patient uses a sort of remote to communicate with the implanted device. There it is. I press the button. Then it inflates. It's that easy. And it tells me it's done. This is really a first of its kind device. It's got a little bit of starting air in it. The FDA just cleared the product so doctors around the country can start using it. But right now the procedure is only done at Good Samaritan Hospital in San Jose by Dr. Kamakshi Zeidler. There isn't any advance um, within breast reconstruction from a technological perspective that even comes close. Cindy Shanker is one of the women who completed the clinical trial. It helped me to feel like I had some role in my own recovery. Everything has just kind of fallen right into place. Now new patients hope they'll have similar experiences with technology developed here in Silicon Valley. I'm very blessed that so many people have gone before me and that things like this are available to me. In San Jose,